Right, I'd like to show you one of the rigs that I use for, I suppose, about 80% of my fishing, really. I use it with boilies, or plastic baits, uh, barrels, you name it. I even use it with maggots, this. Uh, I like using the coated braid. This is a 25 pound jelly wire. I don't usually bother going down to 15. 25 is perfect for most of the uses I do. Do the rigs a bit longer, then you can always shorten them down rather than making them too short. Then I suppose about six inches back, use your teeth. You can get them strippers, but there's no need with this stuff. You can strip the last bit easy enough. I'm going to make a loop now for the uh, to put the baits on. So dead simple, just uh, double it up. It's like a granny knot that you put through twice. What I like to do is I estimate for two pieces of plastic corn. It's going to be about there, approximately the knot. What I like to do is put the baits on first before I estimate the length of the hair that I'm going to need. So I use these bait needles, the really sharp ones, not the gate type, the uh, pointed ones. Like that through there. Use one or two pieces. If I use one piece, I use a size 8 hook or a 10. And if I use two, I tend to use a 6 or an 8, but usually a 6. Dead fussy about stuff, so I like to even have yellow boily stops to match the, uh, the colour of the plastic. Let's put that through the loop. These stops as well, they're... Uh, they're difficult for crayfish and nuisances to get off. So I've got about four inches exposed now. I like long shank hooks. Uh, in this case, I'm using this pattern here. Nice and strong, but not too heavy. From the back to the front, the knotless. And I like the, the bait to be about, I suppose, my little finger in between, not too short the hair. Then I go round about six or seven times, but no less. And you can see I've got about an inch and a half left there. Then put the so that's once. Another little tip here: it can occasionally slip just putting it through once. So I put it through twice for extra security. And the knotless knot's much stronger if you do it twice. Because if you do it once, you can actually pull the hair and lengthen it. It can unravel the knot, so if you do it twice, it never budges. I'm going to use some shrink tube. This is 0.16. I'm, I'm nicking off a piece about 5mm long for the blowback. Slide that over the eye of the hook. You can sometimes just wet it, it goes easier. goes down towards the bend. All right, get another piece that's longer. This piece is about half an inch long. I slide that so it just about covers all the, the knots, no more. So there we are. Then you can leave it like that, but again, I take it a stage further. I get a sewing needle, just crimp the end of the plastic so that it goes into the needle easier. There we go. Right. Then where the shrink tube is, facing the point of the hook, just stick it through the shrink tube. And pull the hook length through. Dead simple, but it's dead effective as well. So that then has to be shrunk down. And with two pieces of corn like this, you're going to need a small shot. So I use something like a, I don't know, a number, <coughs> number six is fine. Once you've shrunk it down, I usually just pinch the shot and use it really quite close. 
thing with long shanks is they're very, very good at uh, anti-jet properties. Look at that, it doesn't move a millimetre even, it's grabbing. Don't worry about the size of the hook with a long shank. It's not like the fish are looking at you going, oh, I don't like the look of that extra bit of metal on it. When it's sat over a bed of hemp and a few grains of corn in there and they're just hoovering up, it just goes in anyhow. The other way I like to use it is with a mixture of pellets and chopped boilies. I get some corn and I dry it out, uh, usually with a bit of uh, fish meal powder or a bit of maize. Or sometimes you can just put the tuna fish in with your mix and use the type that's in oil, the sunflower oil, and this waterproofs the corn and stops it from melting the PVA. So just make a nice bag up like that. With the extra tip bits of corn in there, it it's obviously matches the hook bait. Nick it through, spin it, again, and then again. So it's three times through, and then I press a small groove in the back of the bag so the corn sits flush. And then you can cast that hell of a long way and uh, see fish rolling, just present this to them. I've caught loads of fish like that, very effective.